welcome back to my channel. You're probably wondering, like, Sierra, what is this? Is this a podcast? Like, you got the lights, you got the, the vibes? You know what? It's not a podcast, but it could be. It could be. Do y'all want a podcast? Because I... I've been thinking about it, but anyways, let's not get off topic. Today, I just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update on my fitness journey, my history with working out, which I'm sure all of us have had like a toxic outlook on working out in our lives. I used to work out for all the wrong reasons and that's why I genuinely just could not get into working out. I'm not gonna lie to you guys when I tell you, I used to work out because I wanted to be thin. I wanted to be skinny. You can start working out and have a certain goal in mind, but the main thing you need to get out of it is finding something that you actually enjoy and that can actually be part of your lifestyle without feeling like a punishment. And for a long time, I looked at working out as a punishment. I was a little toxic, but I feel like now in my life, I have found a healthy balance where I actually enjoy waking up every morning and going to the gym. And the days that I'm not at the gym, I actually look forward to it and miss the gym. And I never thought I would be in that position in my life. I remember those days in middle school when they would try to like force us to do like burpees and push-ups and all of that and I was like yeah I'm never working out again in my life I will never willingly work out so that's kind of how I looked at working out my entire childhood it was just a form of punishment I mean when your gym coach forces you to run a mile for punishment or forces you to run laps or up and down a hill as a punishment how can you look at working out any other way but then as I got older I started doing things like going for walks and riding a bike and doing something like that I actually learned that I don't hate being active. I was like maybe I can be a gym girly. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm ready to be a gym bro yet but I'm working on it. But I feel like I still was looking at it as working out and not like a joyful movement in a way because some mornings I would wake up and I'd be like oh I don't want to go for this walk but I have to because I really want to be skinny. Fast forward I got a job. I stopped working out as much just because it was hard to stay consistent. I completely fell off. During this time, I mostly just hated my body, so I got a gym membership. Me and my husband started to go to the gym every night, and we didn't really know what we were doing. We were lost. It was not good. <laughs> I remember I would go on the treadmill and do some cardio for like 20 minutes, but after that, I'd go to the stairs, and I'd do that for like five minutes, and I'd go to the bike, and I'd do that for like 10 minutes. All of it was cardio because I was too scared to go and use the weights. And again, I was going for all the wrong reasons, so of course I didn't stick to it. I probably did that for like two to three months on and off and yeah that didn't last very long. So we canceled our gym membership. Didn't really get into fitness. I tried like walking occasionally. Didn't really stick to that either. I just really didn't have a routine. Then I started going to the gym a little bit more recently around probably November and you've probably heard me talk about in a few of my videos. I'm going to the gym but I was starting to lose motivation. I had just been going consistently for I don't know. I was going for a while and I was just starting to lose motivation. Me and my friend would go, but like we wouldn't really know what we were doing. We were like trying to do like, oh, this is leg day. This is arm day. And we would use machines, but we just had no idea what we were doing. And I always talk about my gym anxiety too. So I'm too scared to branch out and try new machines. And I was really liking going for a while until I just kept doing the same things over and over and over. Now, fast forward to now, literally I am having the best experience experience with working out. Like I said, whenever I'm having my like off days, I miss the gym. I literally tell Kevin, I'm like, I miss the gym. A huge factor in why I started enjoying fitness again and actually falling in love with moving my body is mostly due to Copilot. Copilot is an app where you get a personal trainer and they personalize workouts for you. But when I tell you guys, this is more than just an app. I swear by Copilot, I have been doing it for a few months now. It completely transformed Formed how I look at the gym, how I look at fitness. I was even talking to my coach and I told her, I don't know what I was doing in the gym before Copilot, but it was not right. Like I did not feel the way that I feel now when I leave the gym. I didn't feel fulfilled with my workout because I feel like whenever you're choosing your own workouts, you're staying within your comfort zone. But when I started using Copilot, my coach implemented dumbbells and the free weights. And I never thought that I would be like a free weight type of person until I did these workouts. I have noticed tremendous progress when it comes to using Copilot workouts compared to the workouts that I was doing before on my 
own. Another thing that I really love about Copilot is it's not just an app and like a computer giving you workouts. This is an actual person. I had a video chat with my coach and told her my strengths, my weaknesses, what I would like to get out of going to the gym. Tell me a little bit about your exercise history. What have you done in the past? What, if anything, does your current routine look like now? I was scared to do any machines other than like cardio or just walking, which I still really enjoy now, but now I'm trying to branch out and do more machines like the assisted weight machines. I would love to know how to do like squat rack type stuff, but I don't think I'm ready for that. I don't even know what I'm doing whenever I go over there. I just look lost. Stepping into that space is for sure intimidating. And I know you mentioned gym anxiety. Do you feel like your anxiety was working with a trainer in person or actually going to the gym? I guess like seeing other people at the gym know what they're doing and I don't know what I'm doing. We will stay for the most part within your comfort zone, but I would love to push you out of that comfort zone just a little bit to get into, you know, what you wanted to work in with a squat rack or even the Smith machine. I really want you to enjoy what you're doing to help you create something that is sustainable in your life. She customized workouts completely for for me, genuinely, I've been so much more consistent because I built days to go to the gym. Before, I was just kind of going whenever I felt like it, but now I kind of have more of a routine and a schedule. The days that I do my co-pilot workouts are Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. And if there's anything that I ever need help with, she actually sends me a video. For example, I felt like my form was a little bit off when I was doing deadlifts, so she sent me a video of her doing the deadlifts and explaining to me how to do the deadlifts. Because I have gym anxiety, Anxiety. having all of my workouts already pre-planned for me has been a game changer because I feel like when I go to the gym, I know what I'm gonna be doing and I'm not gonna be walking around looking kind of dumb. That's how I was before. And another cool thing with Copilot, you don't need any equipment. Your coach can actually have you do at-home workouts. That is what I had to do one day. Okay guys, so welcome to my home. This is MTV, no, I'm just kidding. So today I wasn't able to make it to the gym, so I'm going to be doing a at-home workout. Yeah. I'm actually really excited because I haven't done an at-home workout yet and I just told my coach today my co-pilot coach was super understanding that I wasn't able to make it to the gym today I texted her this morning and she got back with me super speedy she put a whole workout in that is one thing I love about co-pilot because my coach is super responsive my coach is amazing she's very kind she's very understanding she tells me like great job if I did a good job with my workout I don't know I feel like I would have been down today knowing that I didn't go to the gym and I know that I wouldn't have took the time to look up an at-home workout and also finding something that fits for me. Just knowing that my co-pilot coach has my best interest at heart and she's not going to just give me any random workouts. Like she gives me something catered to me. That's just, that's great. But yeah, let's get started with this at-home workout. I hope it's not too intense. Also wanted to mention that the weather is changing a little bit. It's not fully warm outside, but this is my first workout wearing shorts. One of my goals is to become more comfortable going to the gym in like shorts, even if it's biker shorts that are a little bit longer. I'm trying to go out of my comfort zone. But yeah, first workout with shorts as well. If y'all see me looking over here, I'm looking at my workouts because my phone is over there. Click on an exercise and it will jump to that exercise. Once you completely submit and send off the workout, I'll be notified. I'll take a look over your notes notes, your ratings, and the workout uh, data. So we have technology with our Apple Watch that's going to record your um, regular heart rate and calorie burn. And then on top of that, your range of motion and pacing. So if you are going too fast through an exercise, it'll tell you to slow down. If your range of motion is off, it'll say go higher at the top, go lower at the bottom. It'll give you some, you know, coaching feedback throughout your workout. I also wanted to mention that you do not need an Apple Watch. The app works perfectly fine without one. I don't know if I can do that. That was hard. I'm gonna make a note because I definitely need to improve on that one. Ooh, I am shaking. 10 seconds. I can do it. Oh. Something to note about Copilot is over 75% of Copilot clients continue to work out after 100 days, which means Copilot clients are nine times more successful at sticking to their goals. You guys can actually use my Copilot link, which is in the description, and get your own coach and try out Copilot for free for 14 days. I highly recommend you guys trying it. I would not tell you to try it if I was not 100%. Copilot has legit changed my life at the moment. I feel like right now, since I have overcome most of my gym anxiety, 
and I've really found a routine that works for me and my schedule. I feel like my next obstacle or my next goal would probably be, I guess, dressing a little bit more out of my comfort zone at the gym. Usually I wear a hoodie or an oversized jacket and then leggings, but I'm always wearing an oversized jacket and it's about to be summer and I live in Alabama and y'all know it is hot down here. So I can't be wearing sweaters to the gym. I don't know if I'm ready yet for a tank top, like my arms being out. I have them out right now. That's cause I trust y'all. That's cause y'all are my babies. But at the gym with all the gym bros, I don't know about that. I did ask you guys to leave me a few fitness related questions on my Instagram. Cause I know a lot of you guys struggle with some of the same things as me. So this was a really good question. What's your best tip for getting in the door and conquering that first day? That is a tough one. The first day is usually the worst day, forcing yourself to get up. Because like I said, me and my husband took a long time off from the gym and to get up and be like, I'm going to the gym today. And then actually going through with that is so tough. I would say every single day, like, oh, I'm going to the gym tomorrow. I'm going to the gym tomorrow. But then the fact that like, I want to go so early and then you also have to like fix your sleeping schedule and find a way to make it work with your job if you have a job. All I can really say is you just have to look past everything and just do it. Even if you're getting up and you're getting ready and you're like, I probably won't even go. Just get up, get ready, drive there. Even if you're like, I probably won't even be able to go inside. Just do it and then you'll be surprised with yourself of how far you get. I would tell Kevin, I'm going to the gym tomorrow. He'd be like, yeah, okay, we'll see. Cause I said it so often. But then that morning I woke up, I got ready and I'm like, yep, I'm going to the gym and inside I was like am I am I really going to the gym I don't know kind of faked it until I made it I convinced myself like oh yeah we're probably not even gonna do it but I went through with all the steps and eventually I ended up at the gym and even if you're at the gym and you only do 10 minute walk a 15 minute walk you still showed up for yourself you still got past the first hurdle which is going to the gym that's the hardest part once you get to the gym that's a breeze and then the next day just do the same thing at least that's how it works in my my brain. Any tips you recommend when you have anxiety being around people in the gym? So the first thing to remember is that people are so full of themselves, they're probably not even paying attention to you. And that is 100% the truth. Like I go to the gym and I see guys looking at themselves in the mirror and they're feeling themselves. I'm not judging them. I'm being like, okay, I love the self love. But those people are so caught up in themselves. They're there for their own reasons, but they're probably not there to judge you. And if they are, then they're just terrible people but you deserve to take up as much space as they do at the end of the day sometimes I think about it and I'm like I literally only see these people like 30 minutes out of my day five days a week and you deserve to be there just as much as them so I mean that's kind of how I have to think of it sometimes to make myself not get so anxious and not feel so scared everyone's their own person and in your brain you're not constantly thinking about a person you don't know and judging them you're probably just focused on yourself I'm struggling on trying different equipment because I'm afraid of doing something wrong. I was the exact same way. I would not branch out and try new things. I wouldn't even use the free weights because I felt like I was just doing something wrong until I tried Copilot and my coach did those personalized workouts for me. Now I feel like I own the gym. Like when I go in the gym, I grab my weights over there. I'm used to using them. I feel like I truly belong there and I feel like I never felt that way before. So I mean, if you really want to get into working out, like you could try a personal trainer. Someone asked if it feels better to bring a friend versus going by yourself. And I say it feels better going with a friend just because if there is something that I'm a little lost about, we can both try it out together and I'm not the only one sitting there looking crazy. And also just having a friend makes you more motivated, at least in my case, because my friend is always ready to go to the gym and so am I. So if there's ever a day that we're like, sometimes I mean, yeah, we're both just not feeling it. But then other days it's like, girl, we can do it. We can go today. Let's get our little work out it. And then the other one's like, you know what? You're right. Thank you for keeping me motivated. I think that's pretty much where I'm going to leave off today's video. I hope you guys got some good information on how I was able, in a way, heal my relationship with working out and fitness. I hope some of the things that I mentioned can help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye!